Hi everyone, this is a pick a card reading about how they feel about you. So how do they feel about you essentially? So we have group one, two and three. So it may look like we have different groups in the cards, but actually all of the groups have the same types of cards from the same deck. It's just, I thought it would be interesting to sort of lay them out differently. So in this particular deck, I've put the Witch Oracle as the top card, and then the these cards are actually at the bottom. And then in these ones, um, the Sacred Spirit reading cards are on top, and then the Witch Oracle cards are underneath. So they've got the same cards from the same decks. It's just the order is a little bit different for each of the piles. So I hope you um, enjoy this reading. I hope that it gives you some knowledge, some clarity, and for sure, um, all of the timestamps for each of these readings will be in the description box below. Um, so do check that out. So the other thing I also want to mention as well is that if you'd like to win a free reading with me, information will be in the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. If you would like to purchase a private paid reading with me, information will also be down below in the description box. They're done within 40, uh, 24 to 48 hours. And also my intention bracelets are on Etsy. They're handmade by me. They are spiritually charged. So I'm wearing the crystal gem healing one here and I'm also wearing the throat chakra bracelet as well. So they are meditated by me or with me should I say. They are also saged and they are cleansed. They also have a lot of potent energy for different areas of your life to really help to remove obstacles and challenges from those areas. I have so many on there from love, twin flames, soulmate, career, zodiac sign ones, healing, chakras. There are so many on there, free international shipping, very affordable and thank you so much to all of you who have shown so much support but more importantly have seen results with these bracelets and if you want to see how other people have seen results with them do check out my Etsy, everything will be linked down below in the description box and there you can also click on the link and then you can check out the reviews on there as well. It's amazing, thank you so much for all of the support. So we're going to start with this reading, see how does this person feel about you in regards to love, I'm just clearing some space. So we're going to start first of all with group number one and then we're going to move across. So I'm just going to take these cards and move them across and let's start with this absolutely gorgeous crystal and this beautiful group. So Group number one, let's have a look and see how do they feel about you. Oh my god, these cards are so beautiful. Just look at the illustrations. I'm going to leave the crystal at the bottom right there. And let's see. So we have here, the cards that I'm using will be in the description box below just in case you are wondering what they are. But we have here, soul fragments, balance will be restored. So. How do they feel about you? Well, they feel like everything between the two of you is going to be okay, that things are going to be restored, there is going to be a sense of renewal, there's going to be balance, that things are going to essentially be repaired. So anything that feels off balance in the connection between the two of you will be repaired. That's what I'm seeing. So soul fragments just means that, you know, things can be a little bit more touchy right now at this time. This is a timeless reading. So whenever you're watching this, essentially it's going to sort of um, be implied at that time or this time, should I say. And so soul fragments here really is showing that anything that is off balance, it will be restored. There's a sense of rejuvenation and there's a sense of things becoming better. Um, and this is also happening within them right now where they're starting to think about you in a much stronger way and they're starting to feel much more balanced the more they think about you. Their feelings are becoming stronger and stronger and it's essentially like any broken feelings, should I say, are getting repaired and restored. The next message I have is from this really cute witch oracle deck. It's, it's so adorable. Just look at that, all of the stars. It's so beautiful. I love the illustrations here. And it says here, inspiration and courage. All right. So their feelings for you are getting stronger. Things are getting restored, but also they're feeling inspired. If you look at this particular card, and this is really exciting and interesting how this happens. What I do is I take the decks and I cleanse them, I sage them, and I place them into the piles when I ask the question. And what's really interesting here is that you've got, you know, these sort of plumes of smoke. Here you've got a lot sort of coming out of the mind. And when you look at these two cards, they sort of, sort of correlate in that sense. So here, you know, if things are inspiring them to become more, more balanced, to become much more, you know, have that restoration, for example. And here, you know, you see them having courage, courage to face this connection courage to face what's going on and also to feel quite inspired by this connection as well. 
So they're, they're letting their thoughts uh, run in that sense, but not in a in a disruptive way. They're ready, ugh, can't even speak. <laughs> they're letting their thoughts run in a sense that inspires them to build on this connection and allow things to get much more balanced. So they're feeling right now much more balanced. They're not battling with their thoughts and allowing things to flow. So their feelings feel quite strong, right? Because they're not battling with themselves anymore. And then we have here sun and stars. Wow. So we've got the sun, we also have the moon here as well, right? Known as counterparts, you also have the stars as well. And this really does show things blooming, shows their feelings are growing. They're open to it, you know, they're looking up. They're looking up into, you know, also into their minds, seeing what's going on. So they are open to this connection. They have not closed their heart or their mind in any way, shape or form. They are very open and they are very um, interested for sure, we have a telescope there and the cat is looking through the telescope. So subconsciously, they have these strong feelings for you. Subconsciously, they are inspired, you know, to maybe take things to the next level. They are definitely thinking about you and they definitely have strong feelings for you, which are just growing day by day. All right. So group number one, that is your reading of how do they feel about you? And if this resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And now I'm going to move on to group number two. All right. So take care and let's move on now to the second group. All right. Group number two, this is your reading for you. How do they feel about you? All right, let's have a look. I'm gonna place this crystal right at the bottom here. And we have got, start with these cards. Ooh, look at this. So I picked up this one first, but I was just so drawn to this one. And do you know what the crazy thing here is? And you guys aren't even gonna believe me. I know you're not gonna believe me, but when I choose these cards, right, essentially, I um, shuffle them, I cleanse them, and I place them in the cards, and that's how they're chosen. So I don't necessarily choose the cards, but that's how they get chosen into the piles. And I just put these crystals randomly, and just look at how that correlates to the crystal. Absolutely beautiful, right? So, so beautiful. So this one here is love and light. Wow. So the cards that are chosen here, you know, by me shuffling and uh, putting them into the piles I mean they just wow <laughs> that's exciting sorry things like this still excite me you know it's like wow just look at the the color scheme here all right so from the sacred spirit reading cards we have here love and light act with care and then from the oracle the witch's oracle we have these two cards so this one here is give into passion wow and then this one here is make a move how very interesting this here definitely is very romantic, very romantic in terms of its color scheme. We also have here some very green cards in nature. So this also reflects upon the heart chakra, which is known to be glowing green, right? Green. So how do they feel about you? Well, essentially we have here love and light, right? So they have loving feelings towards you. They, Their heart is illuminating, right? It's, it's literally lighting up green. So I can see for sure here that they have feelings of love towards you. They're feeling quite uh, vulnerable. And it's very true that when people are in love, they do feel quite vulnerable, you know. And so it's sort of like they're trying to act with care. They're trying to um, figure everything out. They, they don't want to get hurt or anything like that. So this person does have very, very strong feelings for you to the fact that they love you. All right. Given to passion means that, yes, you know, they are sort of tiptoeing around this, trying to figure everything out. But because we have the phrase give in to passion, the really interesting thing here is the really interesting thing here is that um, <laughs> is that it's almost like they're, they're waiting for the right opportunity to sort of just give in. You know, that they're, they're there, but they also just want to sort of know if you are as well. So we have here make a move. So they're sort of waiting for um, a bigger hint from your side so that they can sort of just give in and be all in this connection. So they're sort of waiting for that right sort of moment where you're just able to give them that little, you know, that go ahead where 
they just know that it's it's okay now for them to fall and to fall hard. So uh, make a move is quite significant. I mean, is it telling you to make a move? I mean, kind of, yes. But also it is a very, very strong energy of the fact that, you know, they're sort of waiting for you to take that next step as well. And then they will really fall. So, you know, on one hand, the guides are telling them, you know, it's okay to give into this, but they also want to act with care, which we see here as well, if you can see that on the bottom of the card. So they're sort of waiting for you to essentially make a move. But I still see regardless in time that they are still going to progress forward. It's just that right now, this is how they feel about you, where they're trying to take things step by step. They're trying to understand how things are, um, understand how things can go, etc. And then eventually they will most likely, you know, take things further and make a move in that sense. But, um, you know, right now, how do they feel about you? They love you, but they also want to guard and protect themselves and their heart. So that's coming through quite strong. But yes, this person loves you, has very strong feelings towards you. And for sure, that, sorry, that was my phone that was going off, even though it's on the other side of the room. Like, <laughs> how can I hear it all the way here? But yes, so that is what I'm seeing. They have very strong feelings for you, the feelings of love. All right, so now... Um, group number two, if this resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'm going to move on to group number three. All right. So let me just put these cards there. All right, group number three. Let's have a look and see how do they feel about you. We have this gorgeous blue crystal and some very lovely blue cards. Can we just admire these illustrations for a second? How beautiful. So the way in which I choose these cards is I choose the decks that I'm most drawn to and then I cleanse, sage them, I ask the question and I place, well, I shuffle the cards and then place them into the piles. So... The cards have been chosen in that sense. I don't literally choose them, but the cards have been chosen. Let's have a look and see what they are saying um, and also what the guides want you to know in regards to how does this person feel about you. Oh my gosh, Eternal Union. I don't think I've actually read this card in, in a reading yet, which is quite exciting. Um, and then this card deck here is new, so... I think I've only ever used it once but oh my gosh look at this look at all those love hearts coming out of the cauldron except love so how do they feel about you well things are forming things are getting stronger in their mind in their heart in their soul in their aura I mean it is just you know wrapping up around them and we see that here also with this accept love card where all this energy is just wrapping around them constantly 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 and then we've got here speak your mind as well so the the really strong thing here that is coming through is I really 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 strongly 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 believe that this person has deep rooted love for you feelings for you that they have not expressed to you. In fact, these are feelings that I feel that they have kept hidden for some time as well. And now it's like it's all just coming out, you know, it's coming out of the cauldron. These are feelings that they have for you. And it's all just bubbling out. And then it's wrapping around them. It's making them acknowledge these feelings that they have for you. They can't hide away from them. They can't run away from them. It's there. They have to acknowledge them. They have to understand it. And speak your mind here really does show that they want to be able to speak their mind and they also want you to speak your mind as well in that sense. they This person finds it very attractive when you do speak your mind, you know, because it's your thoughts, it's your feelings, it's, it's, it's what you think. And so, wow. So this person has feelings of true love for you. You've got all of these hearts here. You've got bubbling, sort of passion, chemistry. It's really coming through as well. So this person has feelings of deep-rooted attraction towards you. Chemistry and for sure, especially when we look at eternal union, this person sees you as a part of their future, which I mean is huge, right? Absolutely huge. And then also speak your mind. They, they want you to be able to you know, tell them how you feel, what you see, how you see it, you know, just all of this energy. I mean, they really, really want you to, you know, be you and, and nothing but you, which I think is amazing. And so they really love you for who you are as well, which I think is wonderful, right? That's really, really good. So this is 
your reading. It was short, but very, very sweet. It was very to the point, very, very, very to the point. So they want to speak their mind, but they also want you to speak their mind. They are not able to, um, what's the word? They're not able to exit out of this connection because it's literally wrapping around them. You know, all these feelings, it's just pouring out. That's how they feel towards you. They're not uh, running away from it. They're acknowledging it as well. So Wow, so group number three, this is your reading. If this resonates with you, you know what to do. Let me know in the comment section below. And um, don't forget to also like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, don't forget to click on the bell notification next to the subscribe button and click on all, and then you will be notified when I post a video on YouTube. It will essentially it will end up in your subscription box, which um, is great. So you won't miss any of my videos, and it's also free to do that. So Hope you have a lovely day or night wherever you are, whenever you're watching this. Take care. Also, do check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway, and my bracelets, which are on Etsy. And take, take, take lots of care. Bye.